Hello and welcome to today's meditation. It's on regulating the nervous system. So however you're showing up today, uh, it's just fine wherever you are, however you are. This spring, you know, things are happening, things are opening, and we may feel a sense of pressure to say yes to a lot of social engagements, events. But remember, saying no is self-care. And also sometimes cancellation is self-care, just listening into the body. You know, the body wants to move towards health and healing. So just taking a moment to notice if there's anything you're arriving with today, any tension, any anxiety, fear, stress. Meeting that with tender care, letting any judgments go, because we're all going through it. So. so let's regulate together today and settle our nervous system, tend to any discomfort anywhere in the body, and just give ourselves a gift of a pause for about 20 minutes. So as you see, I've got a comfy pillow. I suggest you get a pillow or a blanket and just really make yourself comfortable. Um, I encourage you to lay down, take it easy. You know, just maybe water or tea. If you're watching in the future, you can pause or take a sip if you have something now. And just these are things that, that can help our nervous system rest and digest. To show ourselves that we support and care for ourselves. So before we start today, just take a moment to orient in your space. Maybe you could let your eyes rest on something pleasant. And just locating yourself in your space today. So letting the eyes close if that feels supportive or have them open if that feels better. Just allowing stillness to enter the body. What's that like to let the body settle? Maybe there's a deeper breath or some new sensations. Just receiving any messages the body is sending. And taking a few deep clearing breaths. Releasing anything you don't want to carry around. And softening the jaw, the eyes. softening the neck, and bringing a soft, gentle attention to the base of the skull.
Mm, that tender, gentle awareness to the base of the skull, feeling it round and heavy. And if it feels supportive, you can massage just under, right underneath the base of the skull. Just where kind of the spine meets the skull. And you can lengthen in the spine as well. This is where the vagus nerve starts, around here. So just offering support to the vagus nerve or the soul nerve, as Resma Menikin says. So stopping when you want to or continuing. Just noticing the sensation. Lengthening that spine. And breathing into the vagus nerve that runs from there right down to the pelvis, to the sacrum. Giving it care, attention, love. spaciousness and support. Make sure your back is supported. And if it's not, you can lie down, change your posture. Or if you wanna stay sitting, maybe you can mindfully move the spine, however feels good. Maybe releasing some tension there. Feeling the sit bones on the earth, the pelvis supported. And breathing in spaciousness and length into that precious spine. Breathing in that fresh spring air into the body. The brain, the heart. Soothing the body with each breath. Letting the body be nourished by that oxygen. Grateful for those trees making leaves for us to breathe in their oxygen. Feeling supported by the trees and our pillow, blanket. Invite the nervous system to relax just 1%, just a little bit.
it may not feel safe to relax a lot. So if you can, that's great. But it's just a little bit. That's awesome. And see if you can move the breath down to the belly. You can put a hand on the belly if that feels good. Breathing into the hand or the belly, both. Feeling the breath create space in the body. And feeling into that release. You can release with a noise or a sigh. And if you're yawning or burping or farting, that is all great signals that the nervous system is settling. So we welcome all that. And keeping that spine and that vagus nerve straight and spacious. You can sway it mindfully. That feels good. Or maybe the body wants to move in another way. Just doing so mindfully. Noticing how that feels. What are the sensations like? Inviting any areas of holding to relax. And dropping into stillness. Appreciating the silence. Or maybe there's some noise. See if you can receive them, the sound without judgment. With equanimity. And now we're going to experiment with making some sounds. So you have your choice of sound. I can't hear you. So you can try humming or 
the sound V, which um, is like a releasing sound in somatics. So we'll do that for about a minute and see how that feels in the body. If you want to experiment, you can put your fingers in your ears to make the sensations bigger. Notice how that is. So let's make some sounds of humming or voo for about a minute. So just noticing the vibrations that remain in the body. What else is your attention drawn to? Notice if there's energy in the body or there's a flow or something's moving. And breathing in that fresh spring air again. Breathing in that fresh energy from the trees, the buds that are forming slowly. And taking some long breaths. These deeper breaths are a signal to the nervous system that it's safe to relax. So I invite you to notice what is different now than when you came today previewing or pre-humming. And as we come to the end, I'll end with a short mini meta. May we be calm or a little bit calmer. May we be peaceful, even just a little bit more. And may we be at ease in our bodies as we open up for spring. May we see, say no if uh, we don't actually want to go to that event or that dinner. And may we be at ease in our mind, our mind.
May this meditation bring ease to your body today, this week, this season. And remember that um, our bodies want to move towards healing and health. So just listening in, come back to this meditation anytime you need or any meditation from the True North Insight channel. Uh, Donna is below if you'd like to give me some generosity and um, just to let you know there's some in real life retreats coming up with Pascal and Dawn which is very exciting two separate retreats I think some other people too and uh, online retreats coming up Jill has a retreat around poetry which looks beautiful and Daryl has a, a ongoing series around contemplating grief and death and things like this I think but check it out on the website and uh, I'll see you next week thank you so much for your practice take care